We left off 848 on the bottom. Excuse me, uh, 840, 850, third paragraph. We had ended that, concluded the previous paragraph, the ultimate level of love demonstrated yeah. by a subject to a master or a servant to a master, it's not because the master provided something positive or did not punish the servant when he deserved to be punished. Rather, it's the servant recognizing the specialness, the greatness, the exaltedness of the master. And that is the basis for the love. And he says that's avozako. That's pure love. When we say the Kriyashma, you should love God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your possessions. We're addressing every level of characteristic of different types of personalities. Some people are generous, some people are miserly, some people are willing to give but not inconvenience themselves or compromise their honor, if it comes to honor. Person's generous who comes to help you, will give, but he will not compromise his honor. He will not be disgraced on behalf of another person. Person's willing to be generous when it comes to monetary issues and his honor, but his physicality, that he's not willing. He's not willing. You know what the Gemara says, if the Gemara in Baruch says, if the Torah says you have to demonstrate your love even to give your life, what does that have to say? To give all your, 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 your money, right, your possessions? The Gemara says there are two types of people. Some person is willing to die, but he's not willing to relinquish his money. He prefers to die. What does it mean? Because, you know, the person says, if I have to live in an impoverished state, I prefer not to be here. Yeah, so he values his, his comforts more than he values his existence, whether he lives or dies. remember many years ago, you know, in the olden days, when I went to Yeshiva, so there was a number of students. They learned in Chicago, Skokie, then they came to Baltimore. So they came to Milwaukee. So they, they were in the scrap, they had scrap yards. They were, those were the years, you know, they were considered wealth, came from wealthy families, in the scrap, scrap yards. So, and they were all, most of these people were uh, refugees. They came over either right before the war, after the war, and they were scrap dealers. So there was a scrap dealer in Milwaukee where somebody came in to hold them up. And the person who came to hold them up knew the you know, Jews have cash. And somehow it must be hidden away in the scrap somewhere. <laughs> he doesn't put it in the bank, you know, it's instead of the mattress. You know, in the scrap heap, he has <laughs> money hidden. This, the thief, the person who wanted to beat him to a pulp. Literally, he had to be hospitalized. So when they came to the hospital, he says, you know, but he didn't find the money. I mean, the, the, the thief could have killed him, but he was priding himself that he did not, he did not give his money. That he prided himself. The man values his, his money more than he values his life. I mean, you're a fool. The person had the wealth and it's taken from him. Like I said, when we say only Choshkamen, let's say a person is a tzaddik. And he doesn't value his money. The money is only a means, it's not an end. Right. That kind of money is not Choshkamen. Right, right, correct. It was known, you know, in Germany, uh, right before the Nuremberg laws were, were enacted, you know, Jews were very much involved in society, whether it was in, in, the, in, in, the, in the, um, the social setting, all that. And then afterwards, they said, we couldn't care what you contributed, music or theater or everything, you people of persona non grata. So the pictures of a famous pianist in Germany, there was a baby grand, the person went with the baby grand off, off the terrace, committed suicide. You know, if they don't recognize me for who I am, there's no point in living. That's kvodo. If I don't have my kvod, what's the point of continuing, you know, my be, to be acknowledged for what I am? So everybody has his, 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 his uh, raw nerve, his Achilles heel, to be continued. That 
that if you feel that you've been devalued. Thank you.